Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 395. Now today, the collectible of the day is the McFarlane Toys, DC Comics, Retro Superpowers, Nightwing Action Figure. Dick Grayson began his crime-fighting career as the original Robin, Batman's protege and crime-fighting partner. Dick eventually left the nest and ventured out on his own as a new hero called Nightwing. His childhood experiences as a circus performer made him extremely agile, plus as a superior fighter and highly skilled martial artist who has been personally trained by Batman. Nightwing is a keen detective, a natural leader, and a strategist with advanced knowledge of a variety of technologies. Plus, he was voted as having DC's greatest ass in comics. Continuing the legacy of the DC superpower line of the 1980s comes a new batch of your favorite heroes and villains in the nostalgia series we love. Nightwing is featured in his classic suit and includes his two Ekronis sticks. Dick stands in the classic 4-inch scale, as do all superpower figures, and includes the basic five points of articulation. He comes packaged in his iconic Superpowers blister card with updated artwork and logos, and is released by McFarlane Toys in 2023. Now, the comic of the day is Batman, Huntress, Cry for Blood, Volume 1, Issue Number 2, with the cover date of July 2000. This was a six-part miniseries with story by Greg Rucka, art by Rick Bouchette, and cover by Rick Bouchette. This issue is titled Cry for Blood, Part 2. We open with the Huntress on her way back from a meeting with the heads of the mob families, and there's a faceless guy waiting for her in the middle of the road. Of course, the Huntress knows the faceless guy waiting for her is the question. The man implies that Helena is still struggling with her double identity. The next day at work, Helena worries about her potentially being exposed as the Huntress by Batman. Both the Mafia as well as the Gotham City Police Department would come after her immediately. At the same time, Nightwing is with Oracle, and they talk about Helena being guilty of murdering Claudio Panessa, or not. Oracle dislikes Huntress and thinks she's guilty, but to her dismay, Nightwing disagrees. He leaves and visits Helena at her apartment. Nightwing offers his assistance, but she angrily refuses because she has not forgotten how she was treated by the Batman family during No Man's Land. After Nightwing is gone, Helena suits up to search for female reporter Karen Frazier who recently wrote a negative article about the Huntress. Helena suspects that Frazier got paid by the mob of Gotham City. But she only finds the reporter dead in her apartment, and after fleeing to the rooftop, Huntress runs right into Batman and Nightwing. Batman wants her to come with him to the police, who's already on the scene. Huntress misunderstands his intentions and tries to flee. But when Batman throws something at Huntress, she mistakenly fires her crossbow. The bolt is about to hit Nightwing, but Batman shoves him out of the way and gets hit himself. Furiously, Nightwing attacks Huntress, who reacts by jumping off the roof into the nearby river. Soon, the question fishes Huntress out of the water, but when she also refuses his help, he knocks her out cold. This story is continued in the next issue. Geek Fact The Huntress refuses Nightwing's help because she has not forgotten how she was treated by the Batman family during No Man's Land. No Man's Land was a Batman family crossover event that began in Batman No Man's Land issue number one from March of 1999 and ended in Batman Shadow of the Bat issue number 94 from February of 2000. The story dealt with Gotham City being declared no longer part of the United States. 
This happened following several disasters to the city, including Cataclysm from 1998, Contagion from 1996, and Legacy, also from 1996. Gotham became a wasteland, divided into territories and held by the most powerful of figures. Side Fact No Man's Land introduced both the third Batgirl, Cassandra Kane, and Harley Quinn, sidekick to the Joker, into the main continuity of the stories. Bonus Geek Fact Vic Sage, or The Question, is a television investigative journalist who encountered stories he couldn't investigate by normal legal means. So he donned a special mask, kept in his belt buckle, that made it appear as if he had no face. He investigated corruption in the face of danger, leaving a blank calling card that, when touched, emitted a smoky question mark. The question's very first appearance was in Charlton Comics, in Blue Beetle, Volume 5, Issue Number 1. From June of 1967. The character was originally created by Steve Ditko. Another bonus geek fact. Helena Bertinelli, better known as the Huntress, is a vigilante operating out of Gotham City and a member of the Batman family. Her career was inspired by a personal vendetta against organized crime, responsible for killing her entire family. At first, she was an outcast due to her brutal tactics and willingness to kill, but she tempered her methods and became accepted by her peers. She's also been a member of the Justice League and the Birds of Prey. The very first appearance of the Huntress in comics was in DC's Sensation Comics, Volume 1, Issue Number 68, from August of 1947. Advertising Ad Fact from DC Comics and Multipath Movies comes the Multipath Adventures of Superman. His destiny is in your hands. State-of-the-art technology allows you to control the extreme brilliant digital entertainment 3D action. The most powerful entertainment on the web and in stereo. Plus, short films, music videos, news and more. Go to Entertaindom. Dot com today well yesterday it don't go nowhere no more that link is dead state of the art gaming new for sega dreamcast and the playstation for 2000 nightmare creatures 2 fee fo fum i smell the blood of an englishman be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. This is a game of revenge, a dark early 1900s revenge, where you battle against 20 different creatures using fighting techniques, combination moves, and fatalities. A revenge that goes deep into subways, castles, sewers, cemeteries, villages, and even underwater. An extremely gory revenge with soundtrack by Rob Zombie. Rated mature for animated violence, blood, and gore by Konami. And final geek fact. Dick Grayson is a vigilante in the Batman family and the original hero Robin. He eventually outgrew the position and was inspired by Superman to become Nightwing. Following the disappearance of Bruce Wayne, he succeeded his mentor to become Batman. After Bruce's return, he returned to his role as Nightwing. He's the founding member of the Teen Titans and has also been a member of the Outsiders. His first appearance as Nightwing was from Tales of Teen Titans, Issue number 44, from July of 1984. But his first appearance in comics was as Robin in Detective Comics, issue number 38, from April of 1940. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible, where I completely make a fool out of myself. And yet, I hope to see you again tomorrow. This is Cat Fan Comics Man. 
and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out.